Our pressure was real good. It got us going. Um, kind of limited them to some um, to no field goals. I think the first, what you say, 13 minutes was um, no field goals. But I thought our pressure was real, real good. One thing we've been doing, we've been uh, turning teams over. Um, all three exhibition games that we have, we had I think over over 10 steals or close to it. So we want to keep that up. Um, our goal was to be um, plus 10 on the rebounds, and us being 29 was great. And uh, we just want to continue to work. Um, that's the biggest thing for us, uh, stay injury-free and just work and uh, worry about us. And uh, hopefully we can do that on Friday. We got a day off tomorrow, and then we got three uh, great chances to get better. And uh, we'll find out the, uh, the fire that's going to start at Colgate. He's really good. Um, you know, I just I really like him and Isaiah. And then Kyle's been playing consistently. Um, good for us. Mama do is giving us energy. But those young bigs are really good, and they just got to continue to work. Um, I love how Josh keeps the ball high on the offensive end. Um, got some real solid footwork down there. We just wanted to keep getting stronger and stronger. And uh, he did a great job rebounding today. And um, amazingly, he got real, real quick feet on the defensive end. You know, he can show out on pick and rolls. Um, he can get back to his man. It's now just him having getting some experience um, playing against some of these uh, better teams that we're going to play, play against, uh, starting with Colgate and then working our way up. Uh, to PK80. You had some offensive moves, Stewie. You've seen kind of those nice moves along the base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been seeing that in practice a little bit. And uh, like I say, you got some footwork down there. Uh, I'm not comparing him to Tim Duncan yet, but uh, <laughs> but you got some footwork. Coach, the assist numbers have gone up with every single game so far. Mm -hmm. Is that a clear indication that the team is really starting to come together? Yeah, I mean, that's the one thing that's going to keep us connected is sharing the basketball. I still don't like the turnovers that we have. It's just way too much in exhibition. Um, but I do like our, our assist numbers. I think we have some great facilitators out there, kind of more than we had last year, especially when Antoine comes in. Antoine is a, a fantastic passer, and then Cobb is a great passer too. Uh, so we have more guys that can facilitate, and we just got to share the basketball. But when you're sharing the basketball, your body got to be moving. We got to be in sync. Um, and hopefully these next three days we can work on our offense, uh, get that shored up. Uh, we're going to definitely see zone. Uh, they didn't play zone uh, today, uh, but we got a big dose of it against Merrimack, and I, I, I anticipate that Colgate will play zone against us, especially early. Christian really filled up the box score tonight. Yeah. Um, is, does he only know how to play hard? Is that, is that, I mean, even if it results in an occasional flagrant here and there and stuff like that, that's just his – yeah, that's just how he plays, but we we can't have him have no fragrant. We got to make sure he um, have a cool head out there. Um, you know, he was making shots today. I still don't like, you know, the antics after he makes every shot. Um, it has to be us together. Um, but uh, he just plays hard. Um, he's never not working. He's always in every play. Um, and he did a really good job today. Um, I just want him to understand his role when he comes in. I want him to bring maximum energy. He's going to have to be one of our three-point threats, and he did that today. Um, and then once we get him, once he gets the ball in transition, I need him to calm down and then and slow down and really make a good uh, decision. That's kind of his next evolution. If he can start becoming a better decision maker when he has the basketball, it um, would be great for us. I think he had three turnovers today. But other, th other than that, he's doing a good job. It's just us breaking down film because he's going to have to, you know, be able to have the basketball in his hand and make those decisions. So we're just still trying to push him on that evolution of him becoming a point guard, being another facilitator. Kevin, what, what did you take away from Alteric and Jalen, you know, the guard play? Um, I just like their hustle. I like them, um, you know, uh, pressuring the basketball. I thought we did a real good job pressuring. I didn't play them a lot of minutes. I told them I wasn't going to play them a lot of minutes. Uh, you know, it was good to get Jalen going a little bit because he hasn't been going – you know, the Providence game and the Merrimack game, he wasn't really in the offense, but I thought he got it going a little bit. And then we just I still got to shoot it better. Um, you know, I thought we took too many threes um, the first half, and then I really got on the guys because we had one free throw. Um, and then I think they kind of reversed that, and I think they just took, uh, I think they just took four um, in the second half. 
Um, you know, I don't want to go in a game and we're shooting eight threes, but 17 is too many for us, uh, especially against a team like this where we're more, we have more strength down low. Will David be back for Friday? Uh, I'm not for sure. Um, you know, hopefully we can get him back. He's definitely walking around better. Um, you know, we're just gonna we're just gonna test him out throughout practice and see um, if he can get he can get um, on a practice court. That's the first and foremost thing. Um, I imagine he won't practice on Tuesday. Um, so let's try to get him going before Thursday. But if he don't participate in practice, he can't he can't play. So we'll find that out during the week. But he's getting better. He's definitely getting better. You just bring your mom into along kind of slowly with his minutes? No, it's just everybody's slow right now. I mean, I got a lot of bigs. Um, everybody's playing well. And then we're playing like real small teams, you know. So, I mean, it pretty much got five guards out there. So, um, it's kind of tough to play Mama do and, you know, have them out of position playing the three spot. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, once we start playing bigger teams, you'll see his minutes going. But... You know, we're just going to keep doing how we're doing it. Everybody's going to get an opportunity to play. Everybody's going to fight for minutes. And um, I really like those young bigs. Uh, Mamadou's a young big, too. He's a freshman, too. So <laughs> all of them young bigs, but I really, really like them. Um, Zaya is doing some great things for us. and He can be a d defensive monster out there where we can switch one through five. Uh, so, you know, my mind is turning on a defensive end when I got so many young bigs that can uh, jump out and play defense like they can. Yeah, he's just another facilitator. Uh, like I said, that's why our assist number's up like that. He's playing a three, can play the four, and then he can just take it and, and, and make something happen. I think he really gave Josh a couple great passes, um, running the middle of the court, dumped down. So he's another facilitator out there. So that's kind of what I want. I want a whole full teams of facilitators that can move the basketball, that can shoot, can dribble, can pass. And um, he's one of those guys that fit in kind of that versatile mode uh, that we're looking for with some of our recruits coming in.